Well, this is a documentation uh, as much for me as for everybody else working on these little pulse motor projects. And I've been working on this stuff for years now and off and on with the forums. And when you get on one of these projects, everybody asks for a video if you see something unusual so that they can all look at it and take an, uh, an analyzation. Plus, uh, if you get something that's unusual and you want to remember it, this is the best way to do it, is run a video or take pictures of it. It, it would help for a replication. And um, I remember years and years ago, we all talked about something that wouldn't stop running. And the first thing they said was, don't touch it. Uh, whatever you do, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Uh, carefully take pictures and document and then take readings if you can without disturbing it. And this is one of those situations. And this has been running approaching 11 hours. And I've never had anything that ran that long that kept moving on a capacitor. And I set this up last night before I went to bed. And uh, it's midday the next day and it's still rotating. It's just about to stop. Uh, the capacitor is down to about 120 millivolts. But I've never had anything do this before. And this is Laser Saber's Easy Spin Motor. And anyone that's working on pulse motors, please go over to Laser Saber's channel and take a look at his motors. And this is how they're configured. They're configured with these coils in series in a north-south, north-south arrangement around the rotor with a smaller number of magnets so that when the firing happens the magnet is between the coils and it is pushed and pulled the rotor is pushed and pulled around in a circle and these generate at the same time they're firing so you get this back EMF generation happening at the same time you get the EMF happening and it goes round and round but this is basically the circuit that I have going with the addition of another capacitor right here it's an electrolytic and I added this electrolytic and, and just forgot to take it out last night when I ran the experiment. And it's a 100 ohm, a 100 uh, microfarad, 35 volt electrolytic teamed up with a 5 farad, 2.7 volt super cap. And then a rheostat that I have set at 16 ohms. And this is the uh, reed switch arrangement with the LED. The LED is placed across the reed switch instead of across the coil and then there's a uh, ten of these coils set up in the north south north south north south north south and like I say I've never had anything that ran on that amount of energy for this long and so I thought I would uh, do a little video and document it here and uh, it's mainly for me uh, if anybody else wants to uh, take a look at this and ask questions or whatever in the comments that's fine too but I've had a lot of fun with this arrangement here with this uh, coil in series these uh, bunch of coils with the magnets going around and around and around generating as they get it uh, uh, pulsed and I've been running it on different circuits I've uh, made up a couple of circuits here that run just fine on it and uh, uh, several of them and then the different power sources and these solar panels run it as well as a felte with body heat you can run this off body heat but this here still moving after 10 going on 11 hours is just something I haven't seen before and I've made an awful lot of pulse motors um, and so when you take a look at laser sabers videos and he's running this down at a 1 microamp on these uh, high resistance uh, fine wire coil chains um, you know it's something we all ought to take a look at and wonder you know what's going on why is that happening and there's probably a very simple explanation for it but uh, I thought I'd make a quick video and document this thanks for watching